Hello, I'm Brian Johnson. Today we're going to use the uh, Clary's Pal to assess the kidneys for hydronephrosis. Um, so I have my phone here in the Clary's app, and you're going to want to preset an abdomen. And so, you know, you can do either kidney first. I like to do, to be honest, the left one. It's sometimes a little more difficult to find. Um, and so what I do is I, I put the probe in um, longitudinal um, orientation. I'm basically kind of doing almost like a fast view, the perisplenic region, but instead of the spleen, I'm really looking at that kidney, which we're seeing here. It's a very nice kidney. All right, we can change the depth if we want to get a really good shot of it. And there's some rib artifact we're seeing, but you're seeing the renal cortex, and that bright stuff in the middle is actually the renal pelvis. And that's really important because that's what you're actually focusing on. You want to see bright hyperechoic structures in the renal pelvis. If it's hypoechoic or dark, that's concerning for hydronephrosis. That's what we're really looking for here. Um, if it's really bad, it can almost look like a bear claw. So we scan all the way through this kidney, and we really don't see any hydronephrosis, which is good. So we'll move on to the right kidney now. Same thing. What we're trying to do is kind of a longitudinal view, almost like a fast view. Instead of focusing on the liver, which you see here, we're focusing on the kidney. And once again, we're seeing some rib shadow, which is okay. And we're looking for the renal pelvis. Sometimes it's harder to view because of respiratory variation. Sometimes we can have the patient take a deep breath and hold it. Try to get away from those rib views like we're seeing right now. And we're looking at that pelvis. We see it nice and bright. And the renal pelvis is not hypoechoic, so we see no hydronephrosis on this side as well, and we scan through. And you can breathe. Great. So, patient comes in with flank pain. You can easily take your ultrasound probe and evaluate for hydronephrosis at the bedside. Thank you.